In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with retro textures to create a poster in Photoshop. First of all, we will cut out this guitar from the background. Since it's a white background, there are a lot of ways to go about this. We will stick with the polygonal lasso tool and separate the guitar from the background. With that done, we will bring in the first background onto the canvas, a basic retro background that would serve as the basis for the whole poster. Resize the background according to the canvas, and bring in the other background on the canvas. This time, we would be bringing in a grunge background with a retro feel to it. Resize the image according to the canvas, and change the blend mode of this layer to overlay. Now select the guitar cutout layer, place it between the two layers, and tilt the image a bit. Now duplicate the grunge background layer, desaturate it, and change the blend mode of the layer to hard light. Once done, reduce the opacity of the layer to 25%. Now we would be bringing in the third background, the old paper texture. Bring the image on the canvas, resize it, and position it on the canvas. Now move the layer below the guitar cutout layer and change the blend mode of this layer to overlay. Duplicate the old paper texture layer and change the blend mode of the layer to color burn. The guitar here isn't blending that well with the background, so we are going to press the control key and click on the guitar cutout layer. This is going to load the selection of the layer. Now select the retro background layer, copy the selection and paste it on a new layer. Move the layer above the guitar cutout layer and change the blend mode of this layer to hue. Now pick a custom shape. For example here, we would be selecting the shape of an arrow. Draw the shape besides the guitar and choose BB0100 for the color fill. Open up the layer style options of the shape layer and move over the stroke tab. Choose F1CA00 for the color fill and increase the size of the stroke to 10 pixels. Now select the guitar cutout layer and open up the layer style options. Move over to the stroke path, change the size to 5 pixels and use white color for the fill. Now we will input our text. For this, we would be selecting impact for the font, keeping the font size at 222, font spacing at negative 70, and line spacing at 187. Select CD1D1B for the font color and move the layer on top of the guitar cutout layers. Open up the layer style options of the text layer and move over to the stroke tab. Set the stroke size to 10 pixels and choose FFC104 for the color of the stroke. Now what we've done here is duplicated the same arrow shape and arranged it accordingly on the canvas. Now we will be adding another grunge pattern to the document for the text. Once done, press the control key and click on the text layer. This will load the selection of the text layer. Tilt the selection a bit using the transform tool and copy and paste the selection onto a new layer. With that done, change the blend mode of the layer to difference and you're done.